Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome to Studio Live today. And uh, a very different sort of live stream here today because I have an announcement to make. And that is, let's not cut, let's not uh, bury the lead, let's cut to the chase. That is that uh, in the next three weeks, I will be uh, recording and mixing and mastering and releasing a brand new EP. Uh, it's not that much of a surprise because I have been talking about it for a while on some of the other live shows and uh, yeah, the time has come to get started. So what I've done is I've cleared my schedule for the next three weeks and I will be knuckling down and recording, uh, recording, mixing, mastering, doing all that good stuff. So how can you be involved though? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this. So this video is going to be a little bit of information about the EP, about what I'll be doing, about how you can be involved. And I'll be inviting you to come along on the journey, not only to watch me do what I'm doing, but the whole point of this channel, as you may know if you've been here before, is that I want to help you create, record and release your best music. So what I'm hoping is that by going through the process, by getting into the weeds, getting into the detail of what it is to record, to mix, to master, to release, to songwrite, to do all those things, it can uh, help encourage and ins perhaps inspire you to do the same. So I want you to be joining me along the way and uh, why not create your own song? If you've never created a song before, you've never mixed and mastered and released a song, now is the time. If, if you've done 99 of them before, well, guess what? Uh, do 100. It's, it's good. It's a good thing to do to create, record, release music. Hello to the folks who are here live. We are streaming live here on YouTube here today. So we'll jump in and say good day to the folks who are here live in just a few moments. But before I do that, let's just uh, cover off on, I'll just find my notes because I'm very organized as I always am here. <laughs> I'll just find my notes and I'll let you know what we'll be going through in this video in particular today. So if you just want the facts, you want to know what's going on, Pete, and then you want to get on with your life, you can do that. If you want to hang around, I'll be here for a while because I'll be taking you through the songs that I have so far, what's going to be included, and we'll even have a little live acoustic performance so you'll get a sneak peek at the new EP. They're songs you'll probably be familiar with, but I've got a couple of questions that we'll ask along the way. The biggest question I have for you is that this EP has no name. Now, later in the video, you'll find out the songs and some of the names of the songs and the vibe of the EP. But if you know the sort of music I produce, we're talking singer, songwriter kind of stuff. And uh, it's going to be a lot of acoustic with some guitars, some vocals, some pianos, some drums. And uh, yeah, we need a name. So what's in a name? Well, I don't know because I don't have one yet. So you are going to be able to help me name the EP. And you're going to be able to make some decisions along the way. Think, think, choose your own adventure. Have you, anyone read those? Anyone old enough to remember the choose your own adventure books back in the day where you get to a, a point where you'd be like, do I do this or do I do that? So there'll be a few of those as we go through as well. Um, let's come in and say good day to the folks that we have here live. Uh, welcome to... Oh, we're going to go in <laughs> go in reverse order. Uh, we've got Vince Knight here. Hello to you. Good day to you. We've got Sion. Oh, I've missed one. Jade Star. Hello to you. We've got Sion here. Hey to you. Metallion 58 is here. Jim. Jim. Oh, it's moving so fast. I can't click you. We've got Jim Runfola. Hello to you. Cleggy. Good to see you here, my friend. Uh, coming all the way from... Now, I'm going to get it right. Scotland or Ireland? I think you're from Scotland. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Dan Marino is here. Lucas is here. We've got Dezel at Morning. Darren Anderson. Ba I'm going to get some names pronounced wrongly. Bachette. Hello to you. SM Borthwick. We've got Surfing Cat. Dezel at Morning. Adam Matters. I've said good day to Jade. Ethan is here. Ethan Bybee. Hello to you. Benedict Stewart is here. And Josh Gates. Uh, hello to you. Uh, we've got uh, Johnny Vans, good to have you here. Wyatt Tomlin is here. Uh, we got uh, we got the whole crew. If I've missed you, I'm sorry. We'll be chatting as we go on through the show. Whoops, I've left that one up there. Now, if you do have questions or comments or suggestions as we go here live, please leave them in the chat here. If you're watching on the replay, don't worry. I love you just as much. All you need to do is drop a comment down in the comment section. And as I said, the first question will be, what do we name it? It's like, is anyone a Dilbert fan? If you watch the animated Dilbert series, they were like, now the first thing that we need is the name. And Dilbert's like, uh, that's, that's usually the last thing you have in a project is the name. And it's the Gruntmaster 3000, I think it was. Yeah, go, go look it up. I'm sure there's Dilbert cartoons on, on YouTube. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Radio. 
Uh, so let, let's talk through what is actually happening here. So you've got all of the details. So we'll be recording, mixing, and mastering an EP. EP stands for extended play. So we're talking four or five tracks, maybe six at a stretch. Uh, and we'll be doing this all in the next three weeks. So there's no time to mess around. I will be documenting the process here on the YouTube channel. So you'll be able to follow along here. This will be the best place to see what's going on. But there are other places as well. So if you're not already uh, a member, if you're a Facebook user, get onto the Create, Record, Release Facebook group because that's where if you want to join in, you'll be able to share versions of your songs. You'll be able to chat with other Studio Live Today uh, community members and we'll be able to uh, share what's going on. So if you are going to join me in the next three weeks in creating and recording and releasing at least a song, then you can do that there. If you go to studiolivetoday.com, you can find out how to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and keep in touch with everything because I'm going to spread things around a bit. Uh, that's the way it's going to be. I'll be on here on YouTube most days, but I'm going to also be be experimenting a bit, doing some Facebook Live, doing some Instagram Live, uh, sharing some things on different platforms. So get involved that way. And you can, of course, uh, hello to my patrons uh, over at patreon.com slash Pete Johns. If you do want to join in and you want to get a little bit more hands-on from help from me, then uh, yeah, join join me and the fellow patrons over on Patreon. That is always an option you have, but that is the only thing that would cost you even a dollar. Everything else will be completely free. This isn't going to be, you don't have to sign up to an email newsletter. You can, but you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to join a membership site. You don't have to give me your credit card information for a free trial. No $47 or $97 courses. This is just going to be free. We're going to be having some fun. Now, it's going to be a bit different. If you've if you've followed me in the past and you've seen, for those that have been around a long time, in March 2018, I did a creator song challenge, which was a whole month, and it was like a daily vlog style. So I kind of went through each day, and it was like a 30-minute, an hour-long video. This is not going to exactly be like that, because I want it to be more in chunks. So I don't want someone to go, oh no, I'm at episode 7, I'm just not going to watch because I haven't seen it from episode 1. I want each video to be standalone. So every time I sort of I'm creating and there's a concept that I'm like, oh, I want to share this. I'm going to throw it out there and share it with folks. So that's how it's going to work. Uh, we did Song Timber last September, which was a lot of fun as well. Uh, this is what May, May, Mayhem, <laughs> e EP Mayhem. I don't know. I don't have a name. I don't have a catchy name for what we're going to be doing here, but we're going to be recording an EP. Um, so that is the news. That is the details of what we're going to do. Um, <coughs> so please join me along. Uh, let me know if you've got ideas for the name of the EP. And uh, yeah, if you want to create a song as well, let me know. Put your hand up now if you're in the chat or if you're watching on the replay, put in the comments saying, yep, I'm doing it. Three weeks. Three weeks is plenty, right? Uh, and especially if you've already got some songs, as I have in this one. So that's probably the other thing to mention here is that this one will be a little bit less about songwriting and a little bit more about the actual recording, mixing, mastering process. We've done a lot of songwriting stuff in the past, but there may be room for maybe one new song to be thrown in here. We'll see how we go. Let's jump over and see. Uh, I've said hello really quickly. Uh, to to folks who are here live, uh, and I'll just see if we've got any comments or anything that is uh, that folks are asking. Um, Cleggy is from Manchester. Good guess. <laughs> I was close from Manchester over in Manchester, England, England, of course. Um, and hello, we've got some other folks who have joined in here. We've got uh, Verbal Weld is here. Surfing Cal, I think I said good day to you. Uh, I am a cloakless hero as long as I'm not a. Uh, a clueless hero. That's uh, some people say that. Well, some people say I'm just clueless. Anyway, um, we'll come in. We'll have a chat to some folks here. So, Defire, look at that avatar. That was cool. When mixing an EP, do you suggest making a duplicate of a track a cert of a certain sound, then panning both left or right to get more of a stereo warm sound? Yeah. So, one of the things we'll be talking about is, of course, uh, when we're mixing, uh, how do we balance things out? How do we do? So, mixing is going to be static mixing of volume, of course, and then mixing of EQ, which is just volume at different frequencies. It's going to be left and right panning to get your balance and your stereo width is really important. And then compression to make sure that you have that nice consistent sound. We'll be covering all of those in the next three weeks and a whole lot more. Uh, the GHS 1962, hello to you. Uh, we've got Z -Z -Z Land, hello to you. Um, and then uh, what about four long tracks? Uh, my, my tracks don't seem to be very long. <laughs> uh, does it go by how many songs or how many minutes in total? So this is an interesting one. What is an EP? And I, 
I did mean to, um, I, I had some records. So the reason an EP is an EP, and let's get a little bit sideways here. You'll know this if you've been around before, but an EP, an extended play. So there used to be a single SP, single play. There used to be an LP, a long playing record. And then there was something in between called an EP, an extended play record. So usually a single had two songs, had one on the A side and one on the B side. And we still use the term B side to explain sort of those songs that don't quite make it to an album, the, the B side of the album. So that's sort of the, the the single. And then an EP was always something that was extended. So you, maybe you had four songs. So back in a record day, you might have two songs on one side and two on the other. So four songs is kind of the minimum of an EP. And then as soon as you get up to seven, maybe eight, you're probably in album territory. So I think, I mean, usually you'd think around 10 songs on an album, but I've definitely seen albums, especially some of those albums from the 70s and 80s, where the, every song was 10, 12 minutes long, they could only fit eight songs on an album. So yeah, it's interesting, interesting, interesting question to ask. Hello to Jade Star. I did an EP for my other musical project, U10 Cells, and it was one track that went for 11, 11 minutes, I know. And that is, um, was that the was that the one that I love, Jade? Was that the one with the... Um, uh, yeah, the robots and the, the, I can't even remember it now, but I remember, I remember it was a really good song for running to, like I'd, I'd go out for a run, I'd put that on and I'd not at least run for 11 minutes, which for me is pretty darn good. Anyway, uh, go listen to Jade Star's music, everyone. Uh, Larko Burgos says, uh, how do you suggest recording audio that sounds good? Well, that's what I hope to cover. <laughs> So as many of you know, I use, uh, I use my iPhone and my iPad. I use primarily GarageBand. In this project, I may be experimenting a little with some other things. So that could be interesting. Uh, I haven't quite worked out all the kinks yet, but let me know. Would you like me to see, would you like to see me using some other apps? Would you like me to see me trying some other DAWs? I'm open to everything in this one. So we'll, we'll see how we go as we go along. Uh, oh, we've lost, uh, we've lost the chat. It's flying down here. What we're going to do, by the way, if you're watching here, I, I will, I will chat to the folks and answer any questions we've got here for probably the next 10 minutes. And then I do have my guitar here. So if you're just joining us, you will be getting a sneak peek acoustic version of the songs that are on the, on the short list for the EP. So you'll be familiar with some of, probably all of them, if you're, if you're familiar with the channel, uh, but I'll be playing through the five songs that I have at the moment that may make the EP, and we may be throwing one new one in there as well. We never know. Uh, hello from Detroit. We've got uh, Thomas uh, here from Detroit. Thank you for being here. Um, we've got uh, JD Halstead challenging myself to make a full-length album by January 1, 2021. I'm getting a bit of a late start, but I'm convincing myself to do it. Do it. Yes. Get into it. Start it. Do it. Set, set your end date and work backwards. A bit of positive pressure uh, is already good. Um, Langston Reese says, hello. Metallion likes mayhem. Yeah. Let's call it mayhem. Should we just, should we just call it? Is it going to be mayhem? Um, mayhem here on Studio Live. So, yeah, I kind of like it. Um, yes. All right. We've got people. Cleggy's in. Uh, Cleggy, you've already been releasing some music. I've been uh, checking out your stuff. Uh, follow Cleggy over on Instagram. Or at least that's where I, where I first found. Or, or Cleggy, you got in touch with me over on Instagram. Just goes to show, you know, if you share your music, I'll, I'll get in there. I'll listen to it. I'll, I'll engage when I can. <laughs> I say that now and I'm like, oh. Pete's inbox fills up with like 70 messages today. Uh, Desolate Morning is in, Thomas is in, we're all saying, I, I, I. You should title the EP Social Distance. Ooh, we've got that. Uh, I like my, sorry, well, let's, let's stay on that, Social Distance. Yeah, so what do you think of this? Uh, I mean, one of the songs I wrote is about the current climate and the situation. Um, every single artist seems to be writing something about lockdown, about being isolated, about the current situation. Is that cool? Like, is that, do you think that's a good thing? Um, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I skirt between, well, it's what we're all experiencing and everyone can relate. And it's already getting a little bit cliched because everyone's doing it. I don't know. You let me know what you think. Uh, I like Mayhem as well. Maybe the EP is called Mayhem. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Mm, let's, let's just, uh, let's just. Mm. I don't mind that. It, it's, I think it's mayhem. It's, you know, it's what's going on at the moment is a little bit of mayhem, a bit of pandemonium. Um, mayhem. And, it's, and we're recording it in May. <sighs> okay. I'm liking it. Uh, suggested title, The Internet of the Heart. Oh, I like that too. The Internet of the Heart. Very cool. <laughs> because it is. It's going to be created on the internet. It's going to be online. Langston Reese is, uh, is going to put his hand up and then looking very perplexed about things. 
<laughs> uh, question here from Bechet. Can I get enough quality on GarageBand? I mean, after finished ma mix and master songs to share on Spotify. I sure hope so, because I created the whole album. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you search my name, Pete Johns, on Spotify, you'll find my album from 2018 called Selfish Aware, which I did record and document here on the channel. And every song on that album was recorded in GarageBand. I know Jade's recorded and released songs from GarageBand. Josh Gates, who's here, is recorded in GarageBand. Clegg, he's recorded in GarageBand. A lot of folks are recording and releasing music in garage band so yes i think you can uh johnny says i got the songs i don't think i can accomplish that though maybe one song maybe on a team with a little help yeah well by all means join up with other members of the studio live today community why not get involved um that that could make things easier for you and uh yeah may, may, maybe i'll even uh, maybe i'll even see if there's some parts of some songs that i can collaborate on i can invite some folks in to maybe record some Maybe some vocals. Maybe we have a big gang vocal in one of the songs and everyone can record a line and send it in. No promises because we got three weeks here, people. We're going to have to move fast. Bubba, wonderful to see you as always, my friend. We've got a thousand watts here. Hello to you. Like your avatar as well there. Some Beatles action going on there. Uh, Lucas, <clears throat> how do you suggest recording audio good? When I make videos, the game audio is louder than me talking. Uh, so yeah, if you're talking about recording your screen, we'll probably be going into a bit of that detail as well because when you're recording on your iPhone or your iPad, if you're doing tutorial videos or you want to record your projects and do some voiceover, it can be really hard to balance those out. My solution is that I use two different devices. And that's the same for pretty much everything. Uh, if you've got an iPhone and an iPad, use one to record the audio, or audio of your voiceover, one to record the audio of whatever else you're recording. Then you've got two channels. You bring those into whatever you're editing in, iMovie or, or in my case, LumaFusion on my iPhone or iPad, and then you mix them together because, yeah, you're right. It's hard to actually... Hard to actually get together. SM Borthwick says an EP would be a stretch for me in three weeks, but I will have one new track by the end of the month. Yes, that is all I'm asking. Uh, I'm doing an EP because... Uh, if you missed the very start, I've cleared my schedule. So I've got minimal projects for the next three weeks. So if you, <laughs> sorry, if you, if you come to me asking for coaching services or mixing or mastering services for the next three weeks, I'm kind of on hiatus. I might have a teensy bit of time, uh, but yeah, I'll be focusing very much on this project. So uh, yeah, I know not everyone has the luxury of doing that. And I certainly, if, you, if I had to do this in April, I would have had no help, no hope with all the other things I had going on. May is just a good month for me. The month of May. Mayhem is upon us. Um, Fireface says, what USB mic should I buy for the MacBook Pro? I love the Samson Meteor. So that is a great affordable mid-range USB microphone. Uh, the Blue Yeti um, and the Blue Yeti Nano, you can't go wrong with those. They are industry standard for a reason. So I will go with that. Medallion says uh, some, uh, and by the way, if you want to, if you want um, tips on that, I've got, to, I should still be trying to do my thing. I know I'm excited about this EP, but uh, studiolivetoday.com slash gear. If you're looking for gear recommendations, especially stuff that you can use in the home studio, especially stuff that's going to work with your iPhone or iPad, hit up studiolivetoday.com slash gear. That has a bunch of stuff. All of it is tested and used by me and the Studio Live Today community. So you know it's going to work for you. Uh, where was I up to? <laughs> this is going to be a problem. Uh, a lot of people uh, with lots of things to say, which is great. I love it. Uh, Sion says, I posted a song earlier today on the Facebook group. Excellent. I will jump back over. By the way, if you are just, if you're just joining this live or you're not familiar, uh, go to Facebook. If you're a Facebook user, search create record release. That's the official Facebook group, the private group of the studio live today community. We've got about 200, maybe up around 250 of you that are there at the moment. Join that group. It's great because you can share your music. You can critique other people's music. You can get ideas. You can collaborate with others. It's a very fun place to be. Jump on over. Uh, Medallion says, some of the B sides were better than the A side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was, um, I'm a big Foo Fighters fan. And one of my favorite Foo Fighters song is a song called Winnebago. It just rocks. It is amazing. And I have the seven inch single of Foo Fighters first single called This Is A Call. And on the B side is Winnebago. And I looked at it the other day and it's very clear that I play Winnebago a whole lot more than I played This Is A Call back in the day because it is scratched to crap. So uh, yeah, sometimes the B sides rock and they are great. Um... Yes, it sure was. So I think that's in response. I know I'm a bit behind, but 10 minutes ago I said, yeah, the U10 Cells song that I loved of Jade's. She's confirming it was the one that I like. 
Uh, TM Star Records, hello to you. I hope you are doing well. Uh, Desolate Morning is in rock and roll. I'm assuming that means you're in. You're going to create a song and have it released by the end of the month. That will be cool. Cla uh, Cla Cla Clever, checking in from Jamaica. Just released my first two singles. Congratulations. That is very, very cool. Uh, I love it. Uh, Lucas says that you should call the EP Empty Store. Empty Store. Well, yeah, I guess that's relevant. Um, uh, you might have seen, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen I posted a photo of the Apple Store here in Adelaide. It was just reopened. And the, I mean, the, the thing is, here in Adelaide, not many retail stores actually closed. We were super duper lucky and fortunate that we were not affected as much as other parts of the world. Um, so most of our retail stores didn't actually close. The Apple Store did because they made a decision early on. Worldwide, Apple Stores closed. But all of our other retail stores were still open, so I could still go and buy you know, guitar strings and music gear and stuff uh, from stores. Uh, but the Apple Store reopened Monday, and they had like lines up outside. Everyone was wearing a mask, had to register to go in. They were only allowing, I think, like 20 people in at a time. It was the weirdest thing, because you think of an Apple Store, it's just people cramming on in there, all touching things and all using their fingers, gloves, masks, 10 people in the store. It was uh, a yeah, different, different scene. Uh, too cliche, Johnny Van said. Um, yeah, so that's probably the, when I was asking about, you know, everyone doing these isolation songs. I mean, yeah, what is it? Um, stay stay with me at home or sing with me, at, join me. I don't know. There's a lot of things going on with that. Uh, Mayhem and Company. Uh, Johnny Van, Mayhem and Company. Yeah, I like that too. I like it. Uh, hello from Cyprus. Ah, I don't think I've seen a Cyprian here in the uh, in the, the stream before. So hello to you, Mert. Uh, Ken Kerbeck. I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, Darren says, yep, it's, it's much now, no more ISO songs, right? It's, it's, it's happening, it's happening a lot, isn't it? <coughs> and thank you to Jade, yes, you can check out all my stuff, and yeah, if you use Song Whip, if you're not familiar with Song Whip, we'll be talking about that during this, um, our, our buddy, um, Wilson, uh, Wilson Page, who created Song Whip, uh, he's, it's a great service, just go songwhip.com. You can put in your Spotify link or your Apple Music link or just search for an artist or a, a song or an EP or an album and then it creates a link to every different store and streaming platform. So instead of you having to go, here's my Spotify, here's my Apple Music, here's my iTunes, here's my Google Play, here's my Amazon, it just does it all for you. And Wilton is a really cool guy and has created a really good service. Question from SM Borthwick. Will your EP be primarily acoustic or are you planning full band recordings? This is a really good question. So I'm thinking a combination. So there's a couple of tunes that you'll hear in a minute. And I will play one in a minute because I know I've been promising that for a while. There's a couple of tunes that are probably going to stay quite acoustic. But there's a couple of tunes that are kind of already close to a full band that I'll be enhancing. And then, yeah, there's, there's maybe one that I want to really fill out into a full arrangement that's going to be, um, that's going to have a full band type recording. It really depends on timing and that's the next sort of day and next two days this week uh, is going to be planning and that's where I want to reach out to you and I need your help and your opinion. You can help me by deciding what it needs to be. And because I've got a, a hard date, uh, by the way, if you're wondering on the dates, uh, let's bring up the calendar. It's the 3rd of June. So the 3rd of the June of the 2020 will be the release day. So I have three weeks from today to get it done. Uh, so that is uh, that is when it's going to happen. We have got three weeks, and it will be it will be done. So it may be it may be Scott that uh, we get to two and a half weeks, and I realise that some have to stay acoustic, and that will just be the trade off. Like you might say, well, shouldn't you take longer? Uh, no, the work will fill will will continue to fill the time. So if I gave myself six weeks, it would take six weeks, and I'd still probably be in that position. So it's going to be good to just have that little bit of uh, what I say positive time pressure is what I like to call it. Um, la, 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 la. but yes, it's a good question and, uh, it is definitely, uh, something worth doing. Question about Luma Fusion. Where do you recommend getting Luma Fusion templates? I'm trying to improve my scenes. So to be honest, as you probably know, my, my editing of my videos here on the channel is pretty simple. Um, so I created my own sort of like the, the little thing that pops up at the bottom that just says Pete Johns at Pete Johns, whatever that says, studiolifetoday.com um, and my little sort of transitions and intro bits. That's about all that I've really done. Um, what I would suggest though, Sion, is go to the LumaFusion users Facebook group. There is a whole Facebook group for LumaFusion users and there's a lot of people there that know a heck of a lot about video editing, a lot more than I do about video editing. So I'd jump over there and, and ask around to those good folks Fireface says, I made a song for my mum for Mother's Day and she loved it. That is awesome. Uh, love the Mother's Day stuff. 
it is very cool. Yeah, I, I was helping uh, one, someone um, who I've been working with who was, who was doing a cover of, of one of her favourite songs for her mum. And it's cool. Like, sharing music with family is, is super cool. So, uh, well done on that. Uh, Marcus Madison in the house. Yo to you, the fingers. Uh, again, another great... So many great creators here. It's really, really cool to have so many of you here. Uh, is there any good Android apps out there uh, that are similar to GarageBand? Now, I get this question a lot, and I should have it ready and raring to go. There's, uh, I think, is Bandcamp that has a version on Android. There's a few. Some of the folks that have been here will be able to give you some recommendations there. And, uh, yeah, hopefully. Um, doo -doo -doo. Darren Bryant, a little late. That's cool. We're here for a while. We're settling in today. As you can see, we're 25 minutes in, and I haven't even played any music yet. Uh, so we'll do that in a moment. I'm just going to catch up on the chat here. Uh, do you recommend releasing an album or single as a first project in a band? Look, it's, uh, it's an interesting question. I would say a single. I think that the benefits of releasing singles are so, so many. There's so many benefits. Well, good talking, Pete. There's so many benefits of releasing singles that you can release and you can get feedback. You can release and start promoting and get people to start understanding and knowing your music. I think that the challenge with sitting sitting as a band and doing an old school where you'd record, you know, 10 songs and then you'd mix them and then you master them and then you finally release this first big first project. A, you haven't shared it so no one knows who you are or what you're doing. And B, it might suck. I know that sounds harsh, but I, I am a true believer that you benefit from getting feedback. And the more feedback you get during the pro process, then the better. Plus, there is the thing that very few people listen to albums anymore. I'm one of the exceptions. I love a good album. Um, Jade Starr's got an album I listen to a lot. Glenn Clark, another uh, Studio Live um, community member, uh, has a good album that I listen to. So, yeah, there's some exceptions to that. But most of the time, people's attention spans are around one or two songs. So I would get a song done, get it out there. Uh, is there any way to transfer audio onto cassette that's coming directly from GarageBand? GarageBand to cassette? Uh, yeah. In fact, I'm working I'm working on something at the moment that's capturing my cassettes to GarageBand. And you could go the other way. So all you need is a, a way to get the audio out into a line input. So you need an audio interface. So you plug into an audio interface, export that sound, grab yourself a... Sorry, I know. You know I can't go any time without showing this. Grab yourself an audio interface like the Steinberg UR22C and then you can plug in your inputs there and then your outputs are going to go into that. So your GarageBand song, you could just export and then plug that into the line in of a tape player, tape recorder, and you'd be good to go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I'm just scrolling on down. Uh, LC Music Tracks is here. Hello to you. Uh, what is what is your favourite genre of music? Interesting. Uh, singer songwriter, basically. <laughs> no, I'm I'm a rock guy from way back. I like punk. I like rock. I like ska. Uh, I like yeah, sort of more laid back acoustic singer songwriter stuff. Not huge into things like country and EDM. Really like classical music. Love some jazz. I'm kind of all over the place to be honest. All right, I think we're close to caught up, or perhaps we're never going to catch up. Uh, but we will get there. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Uh, make sure. Yep, I think we're caught up on everything we need. Can go. Duh, 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 duh. All right. So I'll, I'll remember where we're up to. It was Lucas, and it was favorite music, and it was at eight fifty-seven my time here. So oh, I've still got my gear. Still got my gear link up there. That can go away. Righty dokey. Let's uh, let's let's play a tune, shall we? Let's plug in. Just gonna grab. This is how prepared I am. I haven't even plugged in my guitar. So, uh, <coughs> all right, we'll just test this one out, make sure that we have the guitar coming through. Yes, we have us some guitar. I'm just going to back away a little bit, so we're not going to blow this away. Uh, so, we'll start, what song should we play to start with? So, I have, uh, th there are five songs that I have on my list here, and uh, that are here for the new EP. I just need to go to my songwriting section of my OneNote. I'll start with this one. Uh, let's just get the tuner on. And this one needs a capo as well. So we'll just tune up, make sure. So where's the B string? My B string's always a, a problem. So this is a song called Perfect. And I've never actually released a full version of it. So this is one where 
I'm keen to to get cracking on and keen to actually record a full, more of a full band kind of version of it. Um, it was written, it was written based on a sign I saw in my local cafe, and the sign said, "Life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful." And it was such a nice sort of thought and feeling that I'm like, one day I need to write a song about that. So one day I decided I just would write a song about that. And uh, that's what this has become. So uh, it's at the moment, it's only acoustic guitar and vocal. Uh, so I'll play that version of it for you here today so you can take a listen. So this is where it's, we're going to get interactive because you'll, you'll hear the five songs here today and then any thoughts you have, after you've listened to all these, drop in the comments. Let me know and say, hey, uh, a bassoon would be good on the second verse of Blast Song, or I think this one should stay acoustic, or I think this one should be full band, or whatever you think. So uh, please let me know if you have those thoughts. I'll bring up this one. There's my there's my lyrics, and we're going to play this one. This is a song called Perfect. Give my give myself a little a little reverb to help my sound. Uh, there we go. Helps if you start with the right chord. <laughs> Life isn't always fair. Everyone has their problems It's easy to hide away It's harder to find solutions But I know this for sure This ain't a dress rehearsal so don't wait to see the signs Life doesn't have to be perfect, to be wonderful. Life doesn't have to be perfect, to be wonderful, they say. But sometimes it feels that way. Not always win and Sometimes you lack direction but You gotta stay the course Cause you're gonna lack direct You're gonna face rejection <laughs> And you won't always know There's a battle ahead Sometimes the war is in your hand Life doesn't have to be perfect, to be wonderful Life doesn't have to be perfect, to be wonderful And I don't know what is left to say Cause sometimes you hide away And look back on your mistakes you cannot turn back time and make everything seem fine. So remember, life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. Life doesn't have to be perfect, to be wonderful. To be wonderful. To be wonderful. To be wonderful. To be That is perfect. Not played perfectly, but that's kind of the point. I'll, have to, I'll, I'll leave the guitar here now, otherwise I'll put it down, it'll unplug and, and it'll all go pear-shaped. Alrighty. Uh, so yeah, that is, um, we'll come back over here. 
That is a song that I think needs a more of a full band arrangement. So I've only ever done it like that. And I can hear it building up. So as you probably would have seen there, I had the capo on the on the second fret. And it, it's basically an E, A, D shape. But of course, it's up a thing. So it's what, F sharp? It's an F sharp major, I think. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know. I, I write these songs and then I'm like, oh, I better work out what those chords were after the fact. Um <clears throat> but I like the I like the bridge in that one. I think that works well to sort of build that up, like the tension in the bridge, and then it comes back into that last bit where you got your sort of your, your sort of real nineties rock stuff. So I can hear it like having some sort of more distorted guitars and some drums and some big feel fills and then going right back down to sort of something and then building up for that final sort of chorus. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think and let me know what you would be including in that sort of song. Um, I'll come back to where I was in the chat so I don't miss too much stuff. Uh, yeah, so Music Studio is available on iOS and Android. So I know, Jade, you're a big Music Studio fan. So that's definitely something that you can check out if you want to use. Uh, we've got uh, David Hodges said, can GarageBand automate anything other than volume? No, unfortunately. You can automate volume and you can automate... Uh, you can sort of do hacks with panning and effects. If you search my name, search Pete John's Automate Effects or Automate Panning, you'll be able to find a way to do that. And uh, yeah, that's that's my best tip for that. Uh, we'll scroll on down. And uh, yeah, Jade says, all go with BandLab, which is cross-platform iOS, Android, PC, and Mac. There you go. So yeah, some good tips for Android users as well. Uh, let's just scroll on down. <laughs> Getting the G string right. Yeah, I know. There's, there's a G string. I think there's no guitarist in the world has ever not made a G string joke at some stage. Max here says, uh, just finished mastering a track from an upcoming EP. Good to see you're working on yours too. Thank you very much. Uh, alrighty. I'll just come on down. Desolate Morning says, I like this song acoustic. Yeah, so, so do I. So this is going to be a tough one because as I said, I, I can hear it as a full band. I kind of like it acoustic. What, listen to the other tracks and then sort of let me know because I want I want a balance here. The way I'm thinking of it is I need the EP to open strong. So that may be the opening song of the EP. And then I need it to sort of climax, <laughs> peak in the middle uh, with a couple of the songs I'll be playing in a minute and then come back on down with a couple of more laid back songs at the end. That, that's what I'm thinking at the moment. So we'll, we'll see how we go. Uh, da, da, coming down, Darren Anderson. Hello. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, um, yeah, it's, it's one of my favourite songs to play. Um, I, I like those sort of chords. It's uh, very very similar to a lot of the bands that I like and very much inspired by a lot of the sort of 90s rock that I used to listen to a lot of. Uh, Isak96, hello to you. Thomas, uh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, Bubba says, uh, this tune's bomb. Always like it. F sharp is right in your wheelhouse. I know. Like, I... I I need to spend more time with my capo on uh, on the second fret and do a lot more F sharp work because I think it just pushes my voice to the level where it needs to where it, where it sounds better. Uh, there's there's an argument made that if you sing right at the edge of your range, it gives you that little little nudge, that little bit of extra feel that's going to work in your song there. Um, release the song just like that. Okay, so we've got another vote for Just Go With Acoustic. Uh, Jeff says, I like that. I like the full band. I he heard the drums in my head all the way through. Yeah, so I'm hearing drums. So maybe it's got to be, yeah, uh, I don't know. SM Borthwick, this song is strong enough to be done acoustically, but I can imagine it with a full arrangement. Yeah, maybe I just need to experiment. Maybe I need to do a demo. That could be an interesting one. So the video, um, see, I'm, uh, well, the reason I'm doing this live stream is I'm putting video ideas in my head. So what I might do is this one can be, creating a demo from an acoustic song because I know a lot of folks are probably in the same thing where they, they write a song on an acoustic guitar and then they're thinking the same thing. Do I make this just an acoustic song or do I branch it out and make it a full band arrangement? So maybe that's what we do with this song. We'll see how we go with this. Uh, David, thanks for clearing that up. No problem, my friend. Uh, RJ Lovely, any difference between desktop version and iOS of GarageBand? Quite a few differences. Uh, they're not compatible. So you can send an iOS project to Mac. You can't send a Mac project back to iOS. And Mac version has things like automation of effects and panning. It has a master track. It has an arrangement track. There's a few additional features, but it doesn't have things like Alchemy Synth and, of course, Touch Instruments. So there's trade-offs. Either way you go, there's trade-offs. It's the way that I look at it. Um, scrolling on down. Uh, cool. I think, we've, I think I've almost caught up. Yes. 
A uh, thousand watts says uh, this song should be part band, part acoustic. So that's what it might even end up with. So maybe it starts off. Maybe the the um, I'll just put the caper back on for a sec. So maybe if we just sort of do a quick quick brainstorm as I knock on, knock over my water. Oh, I'm out of tune again now. Yeah, so I'm hearing it coming in there. And so even the first. The first verse and the first chorus with that life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful and say they say sometimes it feels that way and then like do, 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 and then it comes in with a driving thing that drives the second verse into the second chorus and that bridge so you're right it could be it could be kind of half and half half acoustic half uh full band we'll see we'll see how we go um, <laughs> Jeff Brush says, not being able to play guitar makes it difficult to do a fully acoustic song. Well, yes, that is true. You could, uh, you could use piano or you could use, you could do an acapella. Maybe you know, there needs to be more acapella songs, don't you think? Maybe. All right. Um, and Lucas says, I could hear drums, but I can also tune out the drums from my head and either way it sounds good. Yeah. We'll, we'll see how this goes. We'll, we'll see what happens with it. But I think it's, it's a definite in for the album. In fact, originally I was going to call the EP Perfect. I was going to release an EP a while ago with that song, with some of the other songs that I've got here to play, and it was going to be um, just called Perfect. And then I realized, despite the fact that most of you, that 99% of people would know that it would be an ironic, not even ironic, but a, a, to a title that basically is saying the opposite of what it's saying. Basically, the whole purpose of that song and the whole mantra that I have is perfection is not required and perfect chasing perfection is not good and i am far from perfect and that is absolutely okay your your uniqueness and your uh, lack of perfection is sometimes your greatest strength and asset so i thought that and then i went i'm still not going to call it perfect because it's just going it's just fodder right so mayhem sounds better right mayhem yeah but Perfect may be the first track on that one. Let's play another tune, shall we? Because what are we at? We're, we're almost 45 minutes in, and I've only played one of the five songs. And uh, I do have time, but I don't have that much time because uh, I have to record this. <laughs> I need to get to work and start doing the recording, don't I? All right, so let's play another tune. Another tune here. Which one are we going to go to? We'll go to, we'll go to this one. Here. Uh, so this is a tune that I, I wrote as part of uh, my song timber challenge. So this is a bit of a link between the last songwriting, last sort of major songwriting event that I had and this project. But it's, it's, it's a song that's so dear to me and it's so relevant right now that I wanted, it just has to be in there. Like that, that's my view anyway. The question with this is, I was never completely happy with my original mix. So this may be one where I do something that I don't often do and I don't often encourage others to do, which is take an old song, an old idea, an old concept, and just completely redo it. So, and this, this is actually cool because what, what happened back in September, in Songtember, if you were around and you remember that, I wrote this song called Hold On. I recorded it, I mixed it, I mastered it, and then I released it, but I also released the stems and the GarageBand project. So I released it out and I said to everyone here, I'll, afterwards I'll try and find the original video and put it in the description or someone awesome like Jade may find it and, and pop it in the chat here. But I, I actually recorded this and then I released it and I said, remix this. And a bunch of people did. Patrick over at the GarageBand Guide um, remixed it. Glenn Clark remixed it. Sion um, did a remix of, I'm sure it was this track that you remixed as well. A lot of people did. And listening back to their mixes gave me a whole bunch of ideas and concepts. So... What I want to do is re-record it and borrow from <laughs> borrow from the community and just see what we can do with it. And I think it'll be, a, again, it'll be another fun one to just spend a few days on and, yeah, get, get a newer version. So the beautiful part is that most of the parts are written, and I like the parts, but just the way that they were played and mixed together, I think it can have a whole lot more impact and be a bit of a different kind of song. So make sure that we're in tune here. Uh, this is a song. <clears throat> that I wrote in September last year. It's called Hold On. It goes like this. Life is long and you have much time. You 
you're in a rush and you don't know why You want it all and you want it now But you doubt your talent and you don't know how Look around at what others do Think it's easy so why not you But success isn't overnight So if you want to win you're gonna have to fight Hold on, hold on gonna be a long time hold on hold on cause it's gonna be a long long time hey there are times when you might give in thinking there's just nowhere to win looking sideways at other folks thinking you're the butt of everyone's jokes but there's one lesson that I've learned When you feel that you can't return That is that you should persevere Because you won't get it done by living in fear Hold on, hold on It's gonna be a long time Hold on, hold on Cause it's gonna be a long, long time Oh Get rich, buy a car, a house, a diamond ring But that won't really make you happy So hold on, hold on It's gonna be a long time Hold on, hold on Cause it's gonna be a long, long time Hold on, hold on It's gonna be a long time Hold on, hold on Cause it's gonna be a long Yes, it's gonna be a long And it's gonna be a long, long time Hold on Written a long, a long time ago, before the current situations, but um, yeah, a little bit prophetic, perhaps, in what it's saying, was actually written about, I'll tell you in a sec, after coffee, mm, too cold, uh, it was written more at, a lot of folks were, were coming to me and asking questions and saying, Pete, I want to, I want to be famous, I want to be rich, I want to be making music, like, I've, I've just released this and no one's listening to it and I want, I'm, nothing's happening. And I realized that there was, there's an extreme like rush and hurry and lack of patience. And I think a lot of folks that get into not only music, but everything that, especially those that like have that entrepreneurial spirit, they just want to be like too many folks are looking around at this stuff. That's like, get rich quick. And you, you know, the ones, those, those multi-level marketing dudes that are like, here I am in my garage with my Lamborghini and look at this uh, swimsuit model out by my pool. You can have this too. You can earn up to $10,000 a month. All you need to do is follow this seven step plan. Just buy my online course for $97 and you'll learn all of the tips and the tricks of the trade. So yeah, that. So this is an anti-that song. This is saying the way that you get good at something and the way that you engage with people is to grind it out, to learn, to progress, to play, to practice, to keep doing things. And it is, it's going to be a long, long time, but you got time. Life is long. You have much time. Just keep going, keep doing things, keep trying. You will get there. Anyway, that, that is the point of the song. <coughs> um, and yeah, the, uh, so what, what I was thinking there is that what a lot of people did uh, is that they built in a lot more dynamic range in that song. So in the bit where it's like, um, the, 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 the last time where it's like the do, 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 like, I can't remember who it was, might have been Glenn Clark, but they built in like a one, like a half a bar pause, like the boom. And then it just went, hold on. And it just like really kicked in. I'm like, that is awesome. I have to, I have to do something like that. I have to create more dynamics and more range in the song. So that is what I'll be working on. That'll what I'll be doing uh, in with this song. All right. That's too much ranting. <laughs> too much ranting about things. Uh, I'm just going to come out here and see. Uh, so we're up to we're up to here, 9.13. I'm having to go by time so I can see where we're up to. 
Uh, you just see, said your EP title without saying it. Irony. Hmm. Yes, it is mayhem up in here. <laughs> um, Italian's far from perfect, and that's perfect for me. Uh, Hammond B3, verse or chorus, subtle pad hanging three o'clock left. Yeah, so I, yeah, I love some Hammond B, B3. I love some organ sounds. I love some... Um, I love some pads. Definitely going to need some padding in some of these songs uh, as well. Desolate Morning is perfectly imperfect. I love it. Yeah, so we're, we're way back on that one now. We will come forward. Uh, hello, Sun Ray. Good to have you here. Uh, closest mobile editor to iMovie. Closest mobile editor to iMovie. Luma Fusion is kind of the only way to go, in my view. All the other mobile editors are paid subscriptions. Luma Fusion, you buy it once. I think it's $20 US, $30 Australian, around about that mark. It is worth it, 100%. Uh, if you need to edit your videos, uh, they, see, Jade Star coming through like an absolute champion that she is. Uh, there is the link to the remix video. So if you do want to go and check out the remix, download it, play around with it, maybe you can give me some ideas. It will prepare you and, yeah, and it's just a lot of fun. I find it fun to remix other people's music. It's uh, a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, da -da -da -da. <laughs> this one is great for the soul. I hope so. So again, the, the whole point of this, and it'll be weird if it's called Mayhem. The only the only problem with Mayhem is that I kind of want it to be an uplifting. I want it to be a, a an EB of sort of, I don't want it to be, again, cliched about like that hope and determination and stuff. I just want it to be about being nice to one another. Like really simply just being good humans and treating other humans like other good humans. So that's that's the, the, the guts of it. Um, but maybe we'll... I, I like Mayhem so much that it's going to be hard to, to tear me off of that one. Um, you can add your name to the list of talented artists who have a song called Hold On. Yes, uh, Wilson Phillips. The Wilson Phillips song, Hold On. Um, I, was, uh, I was chatting with... Um, this is a weird left field thing, uh, but there's a, I'm a big hockey fan and there's a podcast, a hockey podcast, the best hockey podcast called the puck podcast. And Doug, who's one of the hosts, um, is, happens to be a big James Bond fan. So when I released my spy from a distance song recently, uh, I sent him a link to it and said, Hey, Hey Doug, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, sucks that there's no hockey right now. Um, I know you're a big James Bond fan. I did this fun James Bond parody. What do you think of this? And, he came back and said, "Oh yeah, that's really good." And then he 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 referenced this song. He said, "Ah, oh, you, you should definitely um your next song should be a a tribute to Wilson Phillips, like your your song Hold On mixed with the Wilson Phillips song Hold On or something like that." Um, and I'm like, "Yeah, that, that that's pretty funny." But yes, I do love me some Wilson Phillips Hold On. And there you go. Jade's even found the Dropbox link, so there it is. That's where you can go and find the songs to remix. Uh, thank you, Isuk. Appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Um, <laughs> hold on while I grab an adult beverage. Yeah, considering it's 9.23 a.m., uh, no adult beverages for me, unless you count coffee as an adult beverage. Uh, but yes, that'll be... We'll, we'll, do some, we'll do some late night streams where I'll be doing some recording and I'm sure there'll be some, some adult beverages um, in there. Life is indeed, it's, it is like Dungeons and Dragons. You've got to do the grind to find the treasure. Exactly. And, you know, the whole win the lottery and, uh, you, you know, just hit the jackpot and go viral and all those sort of things. Like, people don't realise that that doesn't happen very often. And for most people, we need to actually grind it out, which is fun. It's fine. Uh, da, 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 da. I have a question for everyone. I use GarageBand in PC with mirroring. Uh, I mean, I'm, yeah, you can mirror with GarageBand and I have huge delay. <laughs> Do you recommend some app? No, so that's the problem. Like, I, I'm the same. I use GarageBand and I mirror it to my PC using an app called, what the heck is it? Reflector. Um, but there's no way to do it without delay. The only option you have, and you can't really go through a PC because of the HDMI. Uh, basically, Apple don't want you to share via HDMI to a PC, which is why I can't do it properly here. You can plug into a monitor. If you've got an iPad Pro uh, with a USB hub or docking station, you can output HDMI at the same time as you're recording audio and that can work if you want to do it that way. But through a PC, even through a Mac, uh, yeah, mirroring or air playing is too slow. It doesn't work. Um, just see if we've got any other comments from folks or questions or anything and then we'll get on with it. We'll play another tune here because uh, my probably my favourite song is the one I'm going to go with next mayhem is the winner for me keep it simple and relevant i think so i think it's really good hello to you signature music services good to have you here thanks for dropping on by um i hope there are more songs there are more songs so let's play another one of them shall we 
Uh, let's play this one. So this is probably <coughs> going to be the middle song. So of a five five track EP, uh, the first two will be will open with perfect. We'll have hold on. Uh, this one is a song. I'll tell you about it afterwards. Um, it's a song that I wrote and had a lot of help from folks here on the channel, especially Jade Star, who uh, not only played drums uh, but mastered the original version of this. And this is one that's probably already going. I, I don't know if I'm going to do anything with it. So. If, if after you listen to this, if, if you can or if you want to, listen to the original recorded version and let me know, um, yeah, what you think. Let me know whether uh, whether it needs to be re-recorded, whether I need to do any remixing, remastering or anything because I kind of like it as it is and it, it's probably the favourite song that I've ever released and you know, a lot of that credit goes to Jade because she uh, she helped out a big deal when I was at a deadline and had like a day to do it. Uh, the, the story You've probably heard the story if you've been around the channel, but the story was I'd finished everything, but I hadn't got a, I had no drums, and then Jade's like, oh, here, I, I did some drums for you overnight. And then I think, it, again, I'm, I'm losing the details of it, but I was like, oh, I've got it mixed and I haven't mastered it. She's like, yeah, I'll master it for you. So <laughs> she did everything. Uh, so that was very cool. Now, I just have to remember how to play it, because I haven't actually played it for a while. Yep, I'm going to remember. Hopefully I can remember the chords, because it's one where I've got the chords written separately from the lyrics. So I'll have to hope that I remember all the chords. If I have to stop and go to the other part, apologies. But let's try this one, <laughs> which is called No Apologies. After I say apologies, I say no apologies. And it goes like this. Maybe I spread things a little too thin Maybe I'm trying too hard just to win But my intentions are always the best Told you. Let's speed it up. Maybe I don't always do what I say Maybe the deadline's missed by a day But I'm here to tell you I'm trying to learn And I'm running as fast as I can But the work is I try to make amends, but it's not always easy. Maybe I bite enough more than I chew. Maybe I need to be honest with you, but I just don't want to show any weakness. Maybe I need to step back for a while. Maybe I don't need to go one more mile So I can keep my promise to you And I'm running as fast as I can But the work, it never ends And I try to make amends But it's not always easy And I try to do everything I say But I've only got one Day to day When you think I've got it made Must be good to be this way Look at what the people say have their thorns the biggest critic wears the horns I think it's time to slow it down Now I can see the light and now it's time to make things right for me and you, it's all, it's all that I can do. No apologies. Um, it's funny, it's, it's a song that my, my daughter likes, but she doesn't like that the title doesn't actually feature in the song. It's a bit like Smells Like Teen Spirit. Yes, I just compared myself to Kurt Cobain in Nirvana. Um, but yeah. 
one of those songs that does it. Lithium's the same. Nirvana had a few like that, didn't they? Um, yeah, where it doesn't actually say the name of the song. So yeah, it does make things a little bit uh, a little bit different when you've got a song that uh, doesn't have the name. But yeah, I I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Uh, thank you. Uh, again, thank you for being here, everybody. Uh, we've got a couple more songs to play, and uh, I know it's, it's, it's been a long stream here today, but, um, yeah, I needed to, I wanted to play these songs, I wanted to let you know what's, uh, what's been going on here, and, um, yeah, and hopefully we can, uh, we can get kicking off, because if you're just joining us, what I'm doing here is I'm, uh, I, I announced that I'll be recording and mixing and mastering and bringing together an EP of, uh, of songs in the next three weeks. Now, here's the question. At this, at this point, I need to ask a question, which is, should there be a brand new song? Do we also write, record, mix, master a brand new song as part of this? Because um, I've kind of got, I've got four, maybe five songs at the moment, but I wouldn't mind having an additional song. So let's, uh, let's... Let's see. Let's put it out there. Let me know what you think, and uh, we will consider that as well. I need some more water because I kind of lost my voice halfway through that. Mm -hmm. And here is the release version. Um, and yeah, so Jade did the drums on those, and may maybe that'd be something cool that we could do. Uh, I know a lot of people want to know your drum creation technique, Jade. Uh, maybe you need to make a, a video for the channel, or we need to have a chat in, in one of the live shows about uh, your drum programming. That might be something that I think people would enjoy seeing. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm thinking about drums. Yeah, exactly. But what else is new? <laughs> yeah, love it, love it. Um, uh, says another belter. Thank you. I love the word belter. What a belter. Yeah. Uh, so Jade says she has her e-drum kit. Uh, either play drums direct into Aurea Pro using EG Pulse or into GarageBand as MIDI. But, uh, I actually play a physical e-drum kit. So that's the, that's the secret of, uh, of Jade's great drums there. Um, Jeff says I have a basement reno going on. Whoop. Missed that one. I have a basement reno going on, so my drums are currently disassembled, but I'm looking forward to recording some real drums. Absolutely. For sure. A thousand watts. Yes, yes. Um, Jade says, I think if you decide to use the finished version, uh, you need to do a... If you decide to use the finished version, you need to do a new song. Yeah, so I probably need to... That, that's the thing. If I just use that finished version of that one, maybe I need to do a, a whole brand new song. And now that I'm thinking about it, maybe that becomes the final song on the EP. So maybe mm. instead of, um, yeah, maybe instead of going, like peaking in the middle and then going down, maybe I mellow it down with the songs that you're about to hear mm. and then bring it back for that as the finale. Because I kind of like that, the idea. So he here's the story it will tell. And you'll hear when you hear this next song. Um, so the next song is called Fence Sitter. So... It's kind. This is kind of the story of, of my sort of thoughts and, and the advice that I give folks, which is perfect. It's like life doesn't have to be doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. So yep, just relax and do that. And then hold on is all about obviously having some patience and, and just grinding it out and doing your thing. Um, no apologies is kind of should probably be right at the end because it's like yeah, it, it's telling the story of yeah I'm, I. I'm doing the best that I can. I'm not going to apologize and I'm going to, to do what I can to, to help folks out. So the in-between might be where we just sort of bring it down a little bit because this tune is one that I wrote a while ago and I never really did anything with. And I need I need advice on A, does it go into the EP? And B, um, do, does it change? So at the moment, it's a, it's a finger style guitar and it's a single guitar vocal song. Do I put, I've, I've even played this with an, like an electric piano. So I've just played it with a piano or an organ. So maybe it even becomes a completely different non-guitar based song. But um, I'll play it on the guitar here for you. Let me know what you think. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see where it lands in the final version. Let's just make sure. Is it that pesky B string again that's out of tune? That's not the song I'm playing. It's um. Oh, I've got to find the got to find the um the chords. <laughs> I'm gonna remember. Okay, I think I found them. <laughs> I don't, this, this is the other thing. I, I need to uh, document my songs a lot better because uh, uh, I don't. 
like I've got these songs. I'm like, I'll remember how to play that. I won't. If you take one piece of advice from this, it's that make sure that you're always, always be documenting, ABD. Uh, write down the chords, write down the lyrics. Don't trust your brain. Your brain's not trustworthy. Uh, anyway, this is a song from a while ago. This is called Fence Sitter. I have a lot of thoughts But I may not say a lot of them I let the words come out Every now and then I think a lot of things That many others disagree with But you won't even know Unless you choose to ask Sometimes it's easier to fly When you're just too tired to fight I'm a fan-sitter Sometimes I like to keep my thoughts to myself It's easier I'm facing up to the conflict And I know not everyone's this way But it's how I get through the day Fancy it up You might think I'm weak and I should just express myself But it's not black and white All of the time I should pick a side and Go all in with one direction But I don't think that's right For me anyway Sometimes I try to close my mind There's always another side I'm a fan-sitter Sometimes I like to keep my thoughts to myself It's easier Facing up to the conflict And I know That not everyone's this way But it's how I get through I get through the day Fancy it up, sit up And I know I messed up the end Do I have the chords there? And I know Expect you to be the same But I'm asking for you to refrain from Making me feel ashamed Clearly, I need to uh, practice my own songs a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that, so that was a song that I wrote very quickly, sort of put together. And, and the reason I like it and the reason I think it works for this EP is, again, that leading into No Apologies, I think could be tracks four and five. So maybe I'm rethinking this that you open with Perfect, Hold On, New Song, sort of right in the middle there, something new and fresh, and then come out of it with Fence Sitter, and then finish with no apologies. Kind of like that concept, but let me know what you think uh, if you're here live or if you're afterwards. I'm <laughs> I just realized I've left Jade's comment up there the entire time. I, I didn't have the screen up, so Jade, you got to have your face <laughs> on the screen throughout the entire thing. Ah, oh, good stuff. Good stuff, Pete. Doing well. Uh, Sion says no apologies feels like the ending song. Yeah, I reckon. I reckon it's going to be the ending song. Uh, yep, feels like the ending song. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right, Jade, you do already have a video to help folks out with GarageBand drums in iOS, so for sure. Aqua, is that, is that so I can have a drink of water? <laughs> As opposed to red, it's clear today, because I'm just drinking the water. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely an acoustic 
This is definitely acoustic song. Maybe some strings. So yeah, maybe some strings. Uh, I was chatting to someone, um, Lynette, a violinist, um, who is an amazing violinist. And I was saying to her, I'm like half joke because she was asking for advice about garage, but I'm like half joking, Lynette. But uh, you know, barter economy. Maybe I give you some uh, some recording tips, and uh, you know, you record some violins for my songs. <laughs> Dan Baker might be offended. Dan, Dan's recorded some great violins for for my um for my song. Things change, uh, which. I did consider for this EP. It is in the kind of vibe of it, but I don't know. The The song that I was thinking of putting on here as a bonus track, and tell me if you think this is lame, but I used to like the idea of bonus songs, and I didn't... We talked about the whole ISO song. Everyone's got their ISO song at the moment, and I wrote one, which I'll play for you in a minute, and then we'll sort of finish off soon. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get to it in a minute. But uh, I don't know if it goes on there or not, but I definitely think... I'm almost convinced that we need a, a a middle song that's going to be something something new. Um, hello to you, Adam. Adam matters. Everyone matters, but Adam matters. <laughs> wow, lame. Dad jokes coming in. Not even dad jokes. Just yeah, things that I'm not saying well. Uh, Sion says, "Do you recommend micing the guitar or feeding audio into the interface? I find if I mic it, I like the atmosphere, but it catches a lot of outside noise." while the interface is too clean. Yeah, and to be honest, we'll, we'll be exploring that. We'll be exploring acoustic guitar recording and miking. I've done it. I've basically done everything. So I've tried stereo miking. I've tried single condenser mic and the 12th fret, the old standard way. I've tried using the... Because this the, the tailor that I'm using here actually has a very nice preamp. That's what you're hearing through here at the moment. Little bit, like you say, a bit too clean and a bit too harsh. I have to pull down the treble a little bit for it to make it sound uh, like it's in the mix. So... Yeah, I, what I if I have a lot of time, I'll tend to do both. So if I'm playing a track, I'll sort of record it once with the interface to get the real definition and to really hit those notes, the attack on the notes, and then I'll record it using a mic, and that way you, you get that ambient feel as well. But um, yeah, it depends on the style of song. The problem I have with that song is I don't have fingernails, and that's a finger-style guitar, so... Uh, yeah, I, I need to either get those little little finger things, like little Freddy Krueger slashing things, or I need to hire someone to play the finger style guitar for that one, or just accept that it's going to sound like that, or bring in different instruments and, and other things. So considering what to do with that one. Johnny Van said, that's my fave so far. Thank you. Appreciate it, my friend. Um, and Ace, whoop, I've lost things. Uh Isaac said that's my favourite so far. Nice. Um, yeah, and it's 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 interesting because that's obviously slower, low key, a little bit like it's not it's not meant to be sad, so it probably has that effect. And if you are if you are someone like me, or if you know someone like if you are a fence sitter or you know someone who is, you'd probably relate to that song. So uh, and the it's weird. Like I, I have to worry about things like criticism. I don't worry about things like criticism, but if I get criticized, it is usually that I won't commit to something. So I won't say, yes, you must do this or yes, you must do that. And a lot of people don't like that. They want, they're like, make a decision, like be one side or the other. And my view on this is that as long as you're not hurting anybody else, you have the right to think whatever you want. You know what? I mean, this is a bad example, but I've been I've been looking into like the flat earthers lately. I don't know why, but I've just I go on a bit of a bit of a run where I just like I want to try and understand what people are thinking that think different to me, and I try to challenge my own thoughts on things. Now, don't worry, I'm not challenging my own thoughts on you know science, but yeah, I'm trying to think what why is it that people think a certain way? Why do they react a certain way? Why do they do a certain thing? So, the, sort of the reason that I wrote this song is really to say. Yeah, it's actually okay to think what you want, and it's okay to sit on the fence. It's okay not to share your opinions. And the thing is, like, I one of the lines in there is like, um, yeah, I think a lot of things, um, but you won't even know unless you choose to ask. So a lot of people want you to just be out there pushing your opinion. And I'll tell you my opinion. If you come and ask me, I'll say this is what I think about this. But the point is that what a lot of, again, okay, I'm, I'm ranting here, but what I think a lot of people forget is to, at the end of a statement, the words in my opinion, because yeah, unless it's a fact, there's very few things that are really yes, no. I mean, yes, the world is round. So that is a fact. So that is yes, no. Bad example, Pete. But a lot of people's opinions, you can have your opinion. And again, as long as you're not hurting anyone else by your opinion, have it, do it, live it. Um, but also a choice is to not share an opinion. And that that's kind of what I wanted to get out there with that song. Anyway, so I think, I think in terms of the storytelling of the EP, 
we open up with perfect, which is basically just saying, you know what? Pfft, yeah. If, if you're sitting there looking for perfection, doesn't have to be doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. Keep going on. Hold on is that song about perseverance and, and you know, just keep doing your thing. Mystery, third song. We then go into Fence Sitter, which is saying, hey, by the way, you, you can have an opinion. You don't have to worry. You don't have to be sharing things. If you disagree with people, that's totally cool. And uh, yeah, don't, don't stress about that. And then finishing with No Apologies, which is basically, um, like we didn't really talk about the content of that song. Um, but yeah, well, like that, that is me saying, you know, maybe I'm trying to spread things too thin. Maybe I'm trying too hard. Like my intentions are always the best and maybe I don't always do what I say. So again, that's the... I'm I'm someone who does this, and, and I guess my learning from this is to yeah to not com- not to overcommit and underdeliver, uh, not to sort of say yes, not, not to be a yes person. So the no apologies name of that song comes from saying this is what I want to do, and and Jade has a song which is do what makes you happy, and it's kind of that same concept, which is don't apologize for doing the things that make you happy. Like you don't have to do what other people say in life and in fact it's going to make you unhappy to just toe the line and and follow what other people tell you to do anyway i'm getting way off track here but uh we are going to finish up shortly and uh, i'll see if we've got other people uh yes clear (laughs) i'm drinking some water backing vocals for the chorus yeah so in fence sitter i think backing vocals so yeah um i think we're going with that um Jade says, uh, if you need drums for this album, count me in. I'd be stoked to help out. Awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, and Jade is going to try and join the fun and release a new single during this three-week period. Awesome. That will be very, very cool. Um, thank you. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Lucas Burgos. Appreciate your support. <laughs> no no dislikes. Uh, you know what? I, I don't, I don't, I'm, I, don't, I won't get off on a giant rant about this again, but yeah, like I, I do, l- I'm not going to lie and say I don't like it when people watch and like my videos. I wouldn't create them if, if I didn't want people to watch and hopefully get some value from them. That's a good thing. But some people are going to dislike what I say. Some people are going to dislike the music I create and that's totally cool. That's a hundred percent okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not fussed. What I don't get is, you know, hate for hate's sake. Like to just, if someone came in and said, you're an idiot, you're ugly, you're stupid and your music sucks. I'm like, well, that's not helping me or you or anyone. That's just showing that you've got far too much time on your hands. But if someone comes in and says, um, hey, you might do better if you do this. I'm like, yeah, totally. For instance, a lot of people say, I rant too much on my shows and I need to get to the point and I need to stop talking about unrelated topics. So let's move on. <laughs> uh, Bubba says that you never have to take back what you don't say. True that. If some people spent, even if, if they shifted their thinking and their speaking by about 20%, uh, they may find themselves in a lot less awkward positions, just quietly. But anyway, I like it. Uh, Righty dokey. So let's, uh, let's, now this is one, I'm going to play it anyway because I've been working on whether I can play a guitar version of it. This is my ISO song. I'm sorry. So this is actually a sequel to a song. I wrote a song called Things Change, which is all about the fact that the only thing that doesn't change is that things will change. And I I thought, again, I thought about having that as a song on this EP, but it's it's from a couple of years ago. It's done its thing. I didn't really want to recycle it. It's been its own release and yeah. So, but this was the, the sequel to that. And let me know if I'm crazy. Well, no, don't let me know that. But let me know if you think that, um, yeah, it would be something that could be fun to have on as a sort of bonus track on the album. Because I've, I've always liked that. Well, the EP, you have five songs, and then you just have a little version of this, probably on the piano. I played it on the piano originally. But um, I'm going to play it on guitar here because I've never pl- never tried it on guitar. So this is the premiere, the world premiere of my song, Things Have Changed, as opposed to Things Change. Which I wrote, yes, about uh, about our current climate. So, yeah, let me know. Does it go? Yes, no. Don't have to decide now, but I'm not sure if it stays on on the track. Let's uh, let's play it and see what we think. Ooh, try that again. We'll try it again. I told you it was the first time. There it is. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Mm-hmm. 
Things are the same. Everything's changed. Even the sun doesn't seem so bright today. When will it end? When can we leave? Right now I'd settle for a small reprieve. It's been a week. Feels like a year. Doing okay. But you're not near. Are you okay? Do you feel fine? <laughs> How are you finding things in this new design? Don't know how long it's gonna last But like everything, this too shall pass This too shall pass doesn't translate to the guitar. Um, yeah, no. If, if it was on there, it would need to be the little, the, the piano version that I did originally. I don't know. It, it could, it actually could ruin a good thing. <laughs> it could get like five tracks in there and then you're like, oh, what's this sixth track? And then it just like it completely brings you down. So I don't think so, but maybe it does. If you've heard the original version, let me know if you think it has a place or if we go, you know what? I, I think it will date badly. To be honest, I'm, I'm talking myself out of it, I know, but I think we'll get down the track and I'll be like, this is a song about, you know, hope and inspiration and, and, you know, being kind to people and doing the, you know, doing the right thing by yourself. And then it's just got that at the end. And I'm just feel like, uh, eh, I don't know. Let me know what you think anyway. Oh, da, 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 da. Um, yeah. Um, so Jade says, this is a really strong EP. Every song is a single. Very exciting. Well, yeah, I, ho I hope it comes that way too, but I just don't know if that one's going to be in there. Um, Desolate says, I think it was good. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, <coughs> I need to add that to the to the EP. I love this song. Yeah, I do too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have to decide today. We will We will continue on and we'll see how we go. Uh, definitely go over to check out Jade's channel, by the way. Um, that'll be a good thing. Um, alrighty. I'm just seeing if we've got any other, any other comments or questions or anything here. Um, we'll go back up to make sure. Metallion says, um, Metallion says, if you choose not to decide, you've still made a choice. Rush. So sitting on the fence is all good. Yeah, I, uh, I agree. Sometimes, and if you've ever worked in the corporate world or if you've ever worked on projects and things like this, the the need to do things, and again, I'm going to rant slightly here, but the need to constantly be doing something, like th there is a choice, and I know I'm a little bit biased here because I'm a big fan of doing nothing, I'm a big fan of non-action, but there is always a choice to take action and to not take action. But people seem to think that they have to choose some sort of action. Have you ever been in a meeting where people are like, oh, we need to, we need to do something here to improve or to add something new or to in increase something? And you're like, shouldn't we just fix the thing we're already doing or make that better? So, yeah, the new and shiny thing is often put at the forefront at the, yeah, at the detriment of just doing things that you want to do that you're already doing. Maybe that's the right thing to do. Maybe non-action is the right thing to do. Anyway, I'm getting off on an even bigger tangent than I did before. Um, uh, Jeff says, I think the chord progression was cool. Yeah, I like the chord progression in that song. Um, yeah, I think it, uh, I don't know. I think so. I don't know. One, one more song. <laughs> is there? Is there another song? that? Uh, see, that's the thing. Uh, actually, why don't we? Let's just, as a random thing, because what are we? We're at like one, nearly one and a half hours. We've got five more minutes. Let's just see. Is there anything in my list of song ideas here? I'm just going to go, this is really random and off the cuff stuff, but I'll go to my songwriting folder. I mean, the, the other, the other options. So I had a song called Imagination. That doesn't really fit this at all. Um, there is the song I had, um, which is, um, yeah, we're trying to have a society here, which I think is fun, but again, it's not quite in line with this one. I started writing a song. Oh, I started writing this song called Sheeple. <laughs> Which I never actually wrote. Uh, I never actually wrote any of the words for. I had a bit of a chorus. 
which says, don't do things just because other people do them. You might get caught in a massive problem. You need to think about the whole big picture. Let the other sheep all bar. All right. I'll, I'll play. I'll see if I can remember how how this goes and how to play it because this will be this will be interesting. And maybe this becomes the third one. I don't know. Maybe this maybe this is what the new track is. So we'll see. So according to my notes here. And then it says here the chorus is Don't do things just cause other people do them You might get caught in a terrible problem You just need to think about the whole big picture, yeah Yeah, and then it was Let the other, sh let the other sheep will buy Let the sheep will go and buy it all Let them follow all the other sheep will let the other sheep will ba 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 etc. Maybe there you go. Uh, thank you. I'm I'm going to blame Desolate Morning for saying, yeah. Let's just let's just try one more. I don't know. We'll see. Goats. <laughs> so the thing is, um, goats, goats, goats. Uh, yeah. So I could I could put goats on there. Um, th that was actually written. So here's the story behind goats. I wrote it because someone said. Um, Someone said write a song about goats, and I did with my daughter, in fact, because I had like three days to write a song in a month, and I wanted to um I wanted to do goats. I don't what I would have to do to include a song like goats on there. I'll, I'll play it anyway just for fun today. Um, <clears throat> but what I would have to do is I'd have to unrelease it and take the YouTube Creator ID off because I I used it as a test release through Amuse, and it has YouTube Content ID on it. So every time I include it, in fact, I probably can't even play it here now. I can play, I can play the live acoustic version because it doesn't pick it up. But every time I play it, if you're watching this video on the replay and it just cuts off now, uh, bye, see ya. Because if it gives me a copyright violation for my own song, I might just have to remove it. But um, yeah, I mean, this is a fun song. Maybe this is the bonus song. We're up to like a seven a seven track EP now. Um, we'll see. Uh, let's play some goats and then we'll finish off. I'll give you my final sort of sign off and then we'll, we'll continue on. Because guess what? Guess who has to get to work writing songs? And guess who else has to get to work? Yes, you. I'm looking at you. You need to uh, start writing, recording, releasing, getting a song ready for the next three weeks. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's play some goats just for a little bit of fun by request here on Studio Live today. Pesky B string again, is it? Couldn't play. I find it hard to be okay with all the things that are happening in this world. And I find it harder day by day All the news that is fake, all the walls that they make And there's one thing that I am sure of Goats have it easier than me They don't have to work, they don't have to lift a finger Goats have it easier than me They don't have a care And I wanna be as free as goats Think that I might go insane Putting up with all of the things you say and do Wonder who that's about And I need to find another way To survive in this land I just might eat a can And maybe then I can be at one with 
adults have it easier than me They don't have to work, they don't have to lift a finger Goats have it easier than me, but don't have a care And I wanna be as free as goats Might be pinned up, but they're not pinned up. They might be pent up with rage like me. Goats have it easier than 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 me. <laughs> there you go. Goats by the legendary and fictional band Fear Cut from 2018, probably. A while ago. Go the goats. Man. The original version of that uh, is quite a lot of fun. It actually has my family as goats. So I said, uh, and there was one bit that I included at the end where it's um, my daughter going, I can't do a goat noise. Um, and that's the, the last bit of the song. So it was like uh, a little bit of fun. What is the next Fear Cut song? Good question. They're probably overdue for a release. So Fear Cut did a couple of tunes. They did an acoustic cover of The Final Countdown. That, that was kind of fun. Uh, anyway. Uh, Bubba says this is an obvious choice. Thematically, it fits better than things have changed, in my opinion. And it probably does. Yeah, maybe. Maybe maybe I, maybe I leave goats because it would be too much, too complex to get it unreleased and then re-released in three weeks. Um, but maybe it, uh, maybe my sheeple song, which is basically a follow-up to goats, let's be honest, <laughs> maybe that comes in. Uh, righty dokey skips. Um, thank you. Thank you very much um, for being here today and for helping me launch this new EP. I know it's not... Uh, it's not ready, obviously, uh, but uh, over the next three weeks, there's going to be a lot going on here. So if you head over to studiolivetoday.com, you can find all the different ways that you can follow me over there. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, a bunch of other places. I will be doing a few little live videos and appearances all over this shop. Um, head over to Facebook and join Create, Record, Release. That is the official Facebook group of the Studio Live Today community. If you want to get involved and if you want a little bit more one-to-one -one access with a smaller community, the community over at patreon.com slash Pete Johns is where you may want to choose to head. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll be back with more videos, more tutorials, more other random bits and pieces. But yes, the month of May, Mayhem, will be very much focused on this EP and recording and I'll be back with more videos showing you how to how I am going to go about this process of recording mixing mastering releasing these songs and by the 3rd of June the EP will be out there mayhem is the working title got a better title throw it down in the comments thanks folks enjoy the rest of your day or evening and I'll see you next time take care